There you go. Hello, you two. Welcome to yet another long-awaited Grateful 42 video. I got a haircut. Aw, oh, yeah! We have a Windows 98 machine to show you this time. We got it working. With a funny story of why it wasn't working, too. Tell your story, good sir. Well, I was messing around with everything in the BIOS, trying to find out what was wrong, because I know that when I first got it, I was like, well, I know I have a faster processor, so I tried switching out the processor, which was a bad idea, because the motherboard was like, I don't recognize this processor that's only one revision higher than the one that's in it. I was like, oh god, what did I do? <laughs> so after I got that sorted out and reset the BIOS, I was still having it not boot. Like, it wasn't finding the hard drive not booting, and I thought the hard drive was dead, but it turned out I had a non-idiot-proof IDE cable and had it in backwards. And that was the whole problem. Once I got that sorted out, everything worked fine. And as you can see, it boots. Listen to that hard drive. It's a very loud hard drive. It's an old Maxter, I think. It is a 10 gigabyte Maxter. Ah, uh, yes. There's 98. This Trinitron monitor is nice. I love this monitor. I've had this thing awesome since for, I was born. This thing is awesome for vintage games. Vintage machines, rather. It's a very, very crisp and clear display. It is. Trinitrons were definitely known for that. And there we go. Sorry about the flicker, guys. I'm using a phone to record this. <laughs> the Wheel of the Year. I have no idea what that is. It's a file file. I received this from a friend of my dad after I helped him fix his semi-new computer. I say semi-new because he was like, can I get a graphics card for it? And I looked at it and it had an AGP slot and nothing else. You can get still get cards for those. But I know, but yeah. It's a, a file. file. Like I said, it's a file. It's, file. it's a file. All the, all the personal oh. files I removed. <laughs> Time to print stuff from the HP DeskJet 830C. <laughs> I removed all his personal files for him and backed up his music and gave them. He was all happy. Oh, God. Presto Page Manager. Yeah. I, I've used that for customers before. Earthlink Total Access. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. That takes me back to the dial-up days. StarCraft. Eee. Adobe Photo Deluxe. Should, do I dare? <laughs> now this was running Windows 98, as you saw, and when I powered it up, the first thing that popped up was Norton Antivirus 2003, and that was the first thing I removed. Oh no! That was the first thing <laughs> to get removed from this computer. Let's see. So this is 256 megs of RAM yeah, and it's Celeron of some fully sort. Fully out. Celeron of some sort. Let's go to the BIOS and look at what Celeron it is. 300 megahertz. It's 300? I believe so. You can find out. Let's look. Take a quick look at its specs. Do I have a light? I have it. I have a light here. I have a spotlight. Alright, right, here's the inside of this machine. It appears that there's a modem in there with a nice little capacitor on the end. Yeah. Look at all this... Look at all these freaking ribbon cables. <laughs> Only has like all the I/O for the board is cabled out right there, so you can you guys can see. It has an, it has an eight. Was this an eight T? Whatever the connector for this keyboard is, it only has that coming out of it. Oh yeah, this is this one of those boards your dad got? That's all AT? Yes, this was actually a computer my dad built back in ninety eight, ninety nine. Board has an SIS chipset on it. Looks like yeah. Two ISA slots. You could put a Sound Blaster sixteen in here. I know. I could. No, I don't. I don't think I could pull out the cards from the. Uh, from the Intel 86 or whatever it is I have. Well, there's no those would I don't yeah, think those, those are would be six, useful. Those are 16-bit ISA cards. A Sound Blaster, a Sound Blaster 16. Or 8-bit. Yeah, those are 8-bit ISA cards I have in that one. Yeah, in the old one. Looks like it's all just ported out. Yep. I don't know. I do. I, I have no. I, I have no idea what the onboard graphics is though. There's That's the power supply. We can yeah. look later. Got a minus 5 volt rail for ISA slots like the old ones used to. Curious how they kind of hung it vertically. That's weird. No oh well. Uh, that might have been... Nope, that's the case. It's not just me being weird. Let's see, it has a 40 times CD-ROM in it. Floppy. It originally had a Pentium 2 in it, but it has a Celeron. And we're going to see... Ooh, a little reset. Button. He's like, well... It might still have this penny in it. We're gonna see. It says it said Celeron in the thing. So. Oh, it did. Yeah. Okay. That was too fast. Was it? No, that wasn't too fast. Okay. 
Alright, which button do I have to press to get to the BIOS? I think F1. See, there was one of the function keys. All I do is roll my face across the keyboard every time I try doing it anyway, and some button makes it work. Oh, yeah, hey, there we go. Look how vi look how BIOSes haven't changed, folks. This looks exactly <laughs> the same as it does now, pretty much. Let's see what we got here. Oh God! Look at all that hard drive information. Oh, my BIOS is actually holding its state again. That's good. Except it's not November thirtieth. <laughs> Or is it? It is. Yeah, it is. I'm an idiot. <laughs> wonder if the wonder if the floppy supports uh, 2.88. It yeah. does. <gasps> Lol. I don't know what the floppy drive is. It's a 1.44. The 288s are pretty hard to find. You can actually turn off and on the L1 and L2 cache. I guess back to back when cache modules were common or something. Yeah, I'm not sure. I have our 144s anyway. Yeah. I have a whole box of new old stock of these. Ah, uh, electronics boutique floppy disks. Yeah. Yes. Oh, God. Trend chip away virus for BIOS viruses from floppies. Oh, boy. You can set the cache latency of the RAM there. Not a whole lot in here. Power management. Let's see what kind of power management. Green monitor power state. <laughs> Look at all the IRQs you can set. Mm -hmm. Look at that. More IRQs and DMA channels. I feel like I'm playing with game setups in DOS or something. Alright, here we go. Oh, there you go. It's a 350 megahertz Celeron. That was close. System hardware monitor. Now that's the thing below that you're looking oh. at. It has it's running at 40 C. And you have all the voltages. And the thermal using. paste has probably never been changed. <laughs> it's a slot processor. <laughs> you can still change the thermal grease on those, but it's annoying. I'm going to turn this hot thing off. Yes. You have to push in. How do I do that without burning my finger? You don't. No pain, no gain. <laughs> no, I see. Pentium 2. That's because it's a Pentium 2 based seller on, probably. Okay. Windows 98 says seller on, so I'm going to. Yeah. It's seeking. It thinks it's a big boy drive. <laughs> it's all clickety 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 clickety. I should probably turn this light off. I had a dirt moment when I tried plugging in my flash drive into it. <laughs> yeah, you need the USB mass storage device driver first. <laughs> I tried plugging in my 64 gigabyte drive to it. <laughs> it was like, nope. <laughs> It's like, what is this? This is not real. <laughs> Warning, your CD drive is reading data faster than possible. Oh, no. <laughs> As Dave said, how do you fucking deal with this? <laughs> All right. That won't work. I don't have a disk for it right now. Let's, see what, let's see what programs are installed here. Let's snoop around. Actually, if you want, I did just install uh, Warcraft 2. You can go check that out, and we can have a good old. Your sound card is working. If there was a, there's no speakers in there. There's no sound card. I can plug speakers in here. Is there a built? Is there onboard sound? Maybe. I think I think there's a. I think there actually is a PC speaker. But if not, Need the PC have, speaker sound driver. If not, I have a set of speakers that's about as old as that darn computer anyway. Let's see if Warcraft Two works. It appears to be. Yep, it's working. You may recognize this keyboard. It's, it's the chickeny. Oh, look at them graphics, man. 
that's 1996, I guess. 1990-something. I forget when Warcraft 2 came out. The movie looks horribly pixelated. <laughs> Do we have sound? Do we? Let me tab out for a second. Oh, there is onboard sound. I think that's sound. There is no sound. I might have plugged into the wrong one. I think you did. And breaking all the things. All the things. I don't know. I think that might be a game port. I know. No sound. Uh, I don't know. Nothing's labeled back there, and all the jacks are black. Yeah, that's normal for back then. I know. It's obnoxious. Oh, wait a minute. What? Look at all that. It has sound. Sound Blaster 16 playback. Whatever, we'll try to get this working. Well, as you can see, we broke a beaker. There's a beaker all over the floor. Yes. This is how to scare your friends. <laughs> Pop, that wasn't loud at all. Do it again. Ow, that one hurt. There that, you go. That pop your finger. My finger's black now. Derp. <laughs> Reminiscent of the 90s. I still have caps. Remember cap guns? Those are fun. Mm, the smell of gunpowder. There you go. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, we finally have sound after discovering that there's a sound card in this computer. Yeah. <laughs> we had it plugged into the modem. But the modem has a green port on the... Okay. <laughs> no! This is the 90s! Green does not mean sound. <laughs> but it had a little microphone icon. Okay. <laughs> Canyon. As played by a really crappy Sound Blaster 16 emulation yeah, it's compatible thing. Yeah, the box concerto, I think, reveals that. <laughs> Boo, you suck! <laughs> Beethoven, this just sounds wrong. Playing Castlevania? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and this is even worse. It's like for release on a really crappy organ from the early 80s. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> I can see you try not to laugh. <laughs> if I bite any harder, my lip will bleed. Then stop doing the F face. Canyon. Somehow sounds okay. It sounds like... I know there was a news channel in the early 90s that used like that beginning clip as, as they started like... as they started the program. I Morning don't, don't news with Channel 8. I I can't remember if it was Channel 8 or Channel 9. One of the it was two. one of those channels. Here we go. But I wouldn't know because around 1996, they put, they put a high power line right like three feet from our house. And after that, no more TV. Aww. <laughs> Look at these craftastic speakers. Hey man, I like these speakers. Don't blame the speakers. I will blame the speakers. It's not the speakers' fault. Yeah, 
actually doesn't sound horrible. <laughs> Let's give it the real test. Start up Warcraft. Let's start up Warcraft 2, shall we? Forget which version this is. It is the Battle.net edition. Which version? Oh, look at that old Blizzard logo. Oh, the CD's in the drive already. Yeah, it's in this. Oh, listen to that. That sounds good. An orc campaign. Oh boy. The Horde is preparing to launch an assault against the mainland of Lordaeron. Mm. Orgrim Doomhammer, war chief of the Orcish Hordes and ruler of the Blackrock Clan, has ordered you to establish a small outpost on Lordaeron's southern shores to secure the Zul'Dairi. A shout out to Vampiric Parig. I can sum up that entire thing in in a couple of words. <laughs> now I feel retarded. <laughs> you have completed your full retardation course. Yay! <laughs> Battle Fleet Gothic. I wish they still sold those in the U.S. and didn't have to order them all the way from Europe. You can you can get them shipped from there for way too much money. Yes, exactly. Where am I going? Let's see. Hack and slash. Oh, I can't hack and slash. Huh? I click. How many goes? They make noise when I click on them. I am highly amused. Battle Fleet Gothic custom Fleet shipwrecks. Gothic. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's actually missing. Oh, it came apart. Oh. Huh? Oh? Oh? Sounds like a home improvement. It sounds like home improvement. What? What? Look out. Oh, I used to. Oh. They say stop poking me. Is that enough? Take him. Keep clicking. Look out. Keep clicking. Miss me. Keep clicking. That tickles. I would not do such things if I were you. My tummy feels funny. Excuse me. God, I missed this game. <laughs> Oh, wait, I think it's the peons to say stop poking me. Is it these? Yeah. Keep looking at him. Look out! Oh, is it the same for all of them? Missed me! One of them said stop poking me. that tickles! Oh, well, hold on. Cheat codes! This song is the shit. Listen to this song. I'm a medieval man. Well, the cheat code is called disco. <laughs> Sounds like a disco. <laughs> That's awesome. Blizzard had a sense of humor back in these days. Uh, I miss that, Blizzard. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I'm running out of battery, so... This is the Windows 98 machine. In all its hilarity. Ah, uh, yes. We got the sound working, and it can play these old games quite well. And you can even listen to 90s MIDI disco on it. 
Aw, yeah. yeah. Let's go. And that concludes this video. Have a good one, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one, everybody. Ciao. <laughs>